Japanese tourists consistently top the charts with the highest number of foreign visitors vacationing in Hawaii. Kosuke Matsugami is making his first visit to the state and was heartened to hear that Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe came at the same time. But he does believe Abe needs to go further. I think he should apologize uh, because um, I think it's a mistake by Japan to attack Pearl Harbor. But yes, it's a first step, I think, to the future. While hanging out on the beach and shopping are the most popular activities, it's not quite as easy to find Japanese tourists visiting Pearl Harbor. Haro Kurosawa and his friends did, and are also glad their prime minister did too. The Japanese prime minister first visit Pearl Harbor. It's very important. Uh, Japanese young people all think the prime minister visit Pearl Harbor is new history. Japanese culture has long been a part of Hawaiian culture. At their peak in the 1920s, local Japanese made up more than 40 percent of the state's population. The latest census data shows that's down to about 17 percent now, but still they remain the largest Asian group in the state. Stacy Hayashi, a fourth generation Japanese American, attended Abe's speech at Pearl Harbor. She's the writer of Journey of Heroes, a comic book that highlights the contributions of the 442nd and the 100th Battalion, highly decorated U.S. military regiments filled with Japanese Americans. She says Abe's visit was most important for the veterans. As a Japanese American myself, I felt very glad that he was here, um, but I think I felt more glad for the veterans who are sitting in front of me because it's, it's they who, you know, their lives were the ones that were in turmoil and they had to fight to show their loyalty to America and which is, you know, fighting the homeland of their parents, you know, and that's so difficult. All our Pearl Harbor and World War II veterans who are able to, to please stand or raise your hands. Mark New, Honolulu, Hawaii.